hello everyone and welcome back to my channel today I am building a ranch kind of like a ranch style home uh, it is a five bed uh, I believe it's four bedrooms but it can be turned into a five bedroom home it is a pretty expensive home so um, if you do want to download this it's up on the gallery uh, under bubbly simi uh, if you want to follow me on Instagram, you can go ahead and follow me on Bubbly Simi, I mean Bubby Simi as well. Um, but yeah, let's get started. Oh, I'm already getting started. Um, I saw this picture of this house and I was like, okay, this looks like a challenge uh, to me. And it was, it was a pretty challenging one. I'm not going to lie. It was like a five... It was broken down to like five hours. I recorded it in three days, I think. So it did take me a while uh, to try to figure out how I'm gonna do like the roofing and the layout because uh, it's kind of like a downstairs. It's kind of like a weird layout, and the master bedroom is like huge. It's big, um, and it's supposed to have a garage uh, right there on the side. Uh, I actually turned it into a glass house, so or I mean a greenhouse. I'm sorry. So uh, if you want, you can definitely add more bedrooms uh, to that, or like a, a like your personal gym or something. Uh, yeah, I did uh, the bases pretty much. Uh, it does have like a little backyard por porch. Um, I was gonna add more things but my computer kind of slows down every time I put more things down so I like I don't know I just couldn't I can't deal with like it lagging so maybe next time I'll just do it off camera for you all so if you want it like a more lush like a lush full house then definitely I'll do that if y'all want uh, just to make it a little bit more realistic like I said before but yeah so this roofing was a little bit different for me uh, I seen a lot of uh, like a lot of interesting builds on the hashtag show your build thing um, so I'm really jealous of like everybody's ability to do roofing and just made me realize like you know what I do need to practice a little bit more so this is why I did this house so I can challenge myself a bit uh, and the upstairs there's four bedrooms and there's like a home theater area and I mean I guess you can close it off I just left it open because it's like a home theater with like a bar and there's like a like the foosball thing and then the llama table thing <laughs> and yeah um I used a lot of packs I mix and match this one but my next build that I have coming out uh very soon after this one is actually a base game like a loft and it's actually a pretty inexpensive house now I've built this house before uh, it is on my gallery but it wasn't base game I just used whatever pack so this time I kind of wanted to do uh, obviously something small because I feel like it'll be a little bit like less challenging to do a small house uh, base game versus like a big mansion like this one it's not a mansion but it's a big house um, trying to use base game because honestly I feel like a lot of like the base game stuff is pretty boring I'm not gonna lie it's yeah it's kind of boring <laughs> so yeah but yeah that, that build is gonna come up uh, soon on uh, after this one I think on Thursday I'm actually thinking of trying to do three videos a week so maybe this one will be out you know today on Sunday which is today uh, and then yeah so I'm thinking of doing like Tuesday Thursdays and Sundays so. I struggle so much I still struggle so much with wallpaper I wanted to do something different not just like a cream color so I ended up with the blue and that was the master bedroom down there and to here is like the main like there's no TV here uh, this is just like like a formal 
living room next to the dining room so i mean well not dining room but like dining area so like if guests want to like socialize and stuff and then i decided this house is gonna have cats so later on in the corner by the living room you'll see like the newspaper with like the stain so it's not gonna be like it's not so formal then <laughs> but yeah um so yeah the, the house that i saw that was inspired by this it had like rock like stone rocks and i saw white wallpaper that's kind of like that but it wasn't like all the way like i wanted it so i just did like with um i don't think i used those i think i used like the bowling one um yeah that one <laughs> to do the bottom half and then see i wanted to like do it's like kind of half rock and then half not and I, I, we can't really do that it was like half rock and then half of the the other wallpaper that i used for the rest of the house so yeah we jumped a little bit to this this is when i decided like it was a big room so i just put a glass uh, ceiling to do um the green room or oh, what is it called the green is it a green greenhouse greenhouse sorry uh yeah i put like two bee hut two bee things in there and a bunch of planters so if you have the seasons pack you can definitely use that for your sims i put uh at the end like the great soil if you have a city living city city living uh, i'm not sure if that's a city city living thing or if that just comes with the base i don't know <laughs> um i just buy packs that look really interesting when i like i kind of make it like a priority when i get paid or when i used to get paid <laughs> so yeah anyway i'm just working on the bedrooms here or never mind <laughs> uh, i jump around a lot because i did this in like three days so it was like a three-day process and it was like a five hours total um edit so i wanted to bring it down to at least a decent amount of time because i didn't i didn't really know how to break it up to be honest like i do furniture furnishing on while i build still because i want to see how everything is going to look and so i think one time one day like i'll build uh, about something that and then do it a two-parter um, like furnishing furnishing one part but I do it uh, I do go I bounce back and forth pretty much between building and furnishing so I wanted to make it a short video so I can post it at one time so yeah this is the master bed bathroom it's pretty big i'm not gonna lie <laughs> it's a pretty big master bedroom in general i mean that bottom oh i tried to resize actually this house is a lot bigger i did resize it down um and i was like okay maybe i should just go a little bit down but by that time like i thought I had the thought it was already too late and i didn't really want to mess with the layout of the rooms and the roof so i just left it so it's a really spacious house and you can do whatever you want you can take it apart you can make it smaller you can add more bedrooms you can add like a gym you can add like a stage with a microphone and like you can do whatever you want in this house it's pretty big if you have the money for it go ahead and download it um, it'll be up soon i i think i forgot to upload the uh the last build on my gallery so i'm gonna do that uh, after i finish recording i keep forgetting to do things so like behind i'm trying to like i took a break from social media for a while and because my social my, my my regular one it's mainly for fitness and then i gained like a bunch of weight again and so i stopped going on it because i felt kind of guilty for gaining weight and kind of lying to the community that i was in like the fitness community 
and so I took a little break from social media and so now I'm trying to like get the hang of like being on social media and promoting these videos and I actually kind of want to do like teaser videos on Instagram as well and so I'm trying to figure that stuff out so yeah so like being on Twitter I've never used Twitter it's been it's been years since I've used Twitter as like a social media thing but I noticed like a lot of gurus and, and all of you all in the sim community use Twitter and um, discord and stuff like that and I tr I'm trying to make it a habit to kind of be on there a lot so yeah I added like a half bath on the bottom floor every time I build a two-story house I always want a half bath um, because I feel like it's a pain in the ass for your sim. Oh, I'm sorry. I feel like it's a pain in the butt for your sim to like go up and down the stairs whenever they have to use the loo. Um, so, yeah. I did an interesting uh, thing with this couch. I made it a bigger, like a bigger couch. I'm not sure. I didn't test this house in live mode. I'm pretty sure it works. It should be fine. But I said, like, I, I know I've said it every build. I love that couch so much. Like, I'm so glad. Like, if you do not have pets, please, I I encourage pets. And no, I did not put the, yeah, I moved the bar. And so it has the darts and the bar and the, like, the foosball and then a theater. But it was still really big. It's really big upstairs like i'm pretty sure i could have added another room or closed off that little loft area or you know something but yeah i just you know i every time i build a house like a big house like this i feel like it's for a family so i always make a bunch of kids rooms and i'm oh, sorry i make a bunch of different kids rooms i don't know what i just dropped I was trying to move my puzzle that I haven't been able to frame under my desk and I don't know what I dropped. Um, but yeah, I'm just going to work on the kitchen here. Uh, I did change the flooring so it kind of matches with the cabinet so it's kind of like a blue kitchen. Uh, you'll see on the screenshots at the end and this is a weird angled kitchen. The floor plan of what I was going off of this kitchen is the same floor plan. I copied the floor plans as like on point as I can so that's why when I build I build the box and then the floor plan and then the box if it's upstairs and then the floor plan and then I like do the roofing and then sometimes it just doesn't make sense I have to redo it again which is the case with this house but the floor plan it's on point to what I was seeing but I think I just made it a bit too big because like legit that's how the floor plan for the kitchen was that's where the dining room was the living room was back there and then the master bedroom was huge in the floor plan so i just did it the same way um of course in the floor plan there's a garage that's supposed to be a garage but we, we don't have garages and i, I want to get custom content but then i know people like who don't have custom content won't be able to you know download it how it looks so I just want to make something like that can people can download and use as to similar like what I am building. Even if you download it and like don't have the furniture or whatever, like I still want like you know this is what I'm showing you. This is how I like I don't know I don't know. I love building. I love this community. Like I I don't know. Sometimes I feel like it just. It, I spend like five hours on a build and it's awesome and it doesn't really matter to me right now how many views I'm getting because y'all are awesome <laughs> you know you watch my videos and you don't have to watch my videos and you do um you know and it doesn't matter if it's not that many but I like to share that and on the gallery a lot of people download my houses and like before I started recording I did like the loft that I'm uh, going to post later on this after this one um the one that I did before that that I was kind of like kind of trying to copy like that one got like 136 downloads and I don't know if that's much but to me that was like whoa like I wasn't expecting that and I don't know I love building I love the sims community <laughs> like I love it it's all awesome and I haven't had any negativity from it I know there was a big issue on discord recently and and like other stuff that I've seen on twitter like bullying 
Yeah. Okay. So I was gonna do a lot of more plants and stuff, but like I said, my computer and <laughs> lagginess and stuff. Yeah. So I only did it on one side. So if you do download this, uh, you can add more plants and stuff on the other side if you'd like. Um, yeah. So I did a big old barbecue area back here. So there's plenty of seating if. Um, if you don't want to invite Sims over, you can definitely add a pool back here. There's plenty of room for a pool in this lot. Um, I didn't really util utilize the lot, I must admit. Um, and I, I always never use fencing uh, for my houses. I don't know why. <laughs> I think I'm going to try to use it, but I never use fencing. Uh, I just feel like it, I don't know, it feels a little bit closed off, but I think I'm going to try to incorporate more fencing in my build so that you know it looks like you know together i don't know yeah i'm just adding letter items now oh i'm almost done yeah so five hour build to like a 16 minute video so yeah if you all want to see more videos from me go ahead and click the subscribe button and hit the little bell click the like button on this video again if you want to download it it's up in the gallery under bubbly semi thank you all so much for watching and have a bubbly day Thank you.